Peace family. My name is Vicki Dillon and so pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News channel. Please make sure that you give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up and share the broadcast. Thank you so very much. Now, family, we have some very unsurprising news. If you're following Intelligent Black News, like uh, African Diaspora News Channel and The Vicky Show, you already knew what was up because we uh, prognosticated and foretold and prophesied this so very long ago. Talk black to me, somebody. What is the news? Don Lemon, I'm reading from CBS News, says CNN fired him. He's stunned by his termination. Family, CNN fired Don Lemon and didn't even tell him they was fired into his face. He found out via third party. Did y'all hear what I just said? We knew this was coming. Now, family, this is not about rejoicing and being arrogant about the quote unquote downfall of another black looking person in mainstream media. This just goes to show you that the very people that were allowing themselves to be used by our open enemy. For many years. CNN also announced today it has parted ways with anchor Don Lemon. Lemon, today we've heard from him, at least on Twitter, tweeted he was informed his contract was terminated after 17 years with the network and that he is stunned at these All events. Right. Willing to be what I call D1 Democrat first instead of B1 Black first. Never thought the day would come. And he said it himself. What does it say? Longtime CNN anchor Don Lemon has been fired from the cable network he tweeted on Monday. Quote, y'all listen to what he said. I was informed this morning by my agent, Vicky Stop, that I had been terminated by CNN. The CNN This Morning Show co-anchor tweeted, I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. Now, y'all know a lot of this stuff. They said he was under fire because some comments he made in February about Republican, uh, I think, prospective uh, presidential candidate Nikki Haley, because they were trying to say, you know, he said something about the fact that she wasn't in her prime. But he was actually trying to defend Joe Biden because she was disrespecting Joe Biden for being old. And he was basically trying to say, well, she's technically not in her prime as a woman. Well, that backfired in her face. They went uh, they used all kind of media outlets to create this controversy. They started saying there are other folks that have problems with him over the years. Baby, the fix was in. And we, at least I know, I've certainly been talking about him for years because you cannot disrespect folks like us in the black media like he was doing. Remember when Joe Biden and them, and before that, even uh, Trump started to do all those lockdowns and that kind of stuff where he and Joy Reid and others were some of the first ones that was pushing the shutdown particularly when Biden got in the office because Trump was already doing stuff related to the you know what. And Biden took it all the way to the next step. And they were the ones uh, that were beating, uh, doing their drum beat for that. There's so much family happening in our world. And why is this important? Well, not only him, but we also know that Tucker Carlson from Fox News, uh, uh, we found out he got fired. Fox News has to pay over $787 million. That's dang near three quarters of a billion dollars more than that actually to a dominion voting uh company because they uh were, were found to have lied and slandered this company uh so fox news had to pay that out fox news says it is quote agreed to part ways close quote with host tucker carlson network has confirmed his last program was last friday fox news says carlson's show will be held by a rotating series of hosts until a new one is named the announcement comes just days after the network settled with dominion voting systems in a defamation lawsuit for more than 787 million dollars family these are the false prophets i told you what you read about in scripture that says false prophets your false prophets are your modern reporters and remember warfare is played out first using the minds and programming this is the reason why independent black media just like the network you're watching now is considered to be a, uh, a threat to the powers that shouldn't be that's why your support you're retweeting you're reposting you're sharing and any other support that you do for us is what actually empowers us. And you're seeing our extraordinary power grow from the ground up. Thank you so much for tuning in. It never pays to disrespect Black Americans. It never pays to laugh at those of us that seem to have small beginnings. Talk Black to me, somebody. My name is Vicki Diller. Thank you so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you again.